Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll discuss uh, one issue which I have faced while using the Redwood VBCS application. I'll create the use case for it and then we will address how we can sort that issue. The issue which I faced was notification not showing on the screen. Basically, the fire notification event which we can call in, in the action chain was called and we were not able to see the notification. In the background, when I changed, checked on the inspector, uh, I was able to see that the event was triggered, but we were not able to see the desired result on the screen. So let us first create the use case and see how we can sort that issue. So here, uh, I am using the welcome page template. Let me add a primary action here. and then let me create an event i'll click i'll uh, create a general event not the welcome page template primary event i'll explain you in the last why i have done so so let me click on click um, general events click so click on select and in the action chain let me create a new action chain Here, let me call the fire notification. Let us give the summary as event triggered and notification type as confirmation. Now, let us execute and see what happens. Here, when I click on the event, see, nothing happens. Now, what we have to do is, we have to go to the uh, cell section of the application. I'm going to the cell section because here I'll be using one message component. And uh, we want wherever in the application the fire notification is triggered, this message should pop up. That's why I'm using it in shell so that it will be available across my application. So now here, let me quickly uh, search the component and let me add it to the top. Now let me show you in the design. Here if you see, we are able to see the message, okay. Uh, if you go to the data, so you have severity as info and summary as message, summary and detail as detail, that's why this information is triggered, Th this information is actually visible. Uh, but we don't want that, we want whatever uh, information we want to display in our action chain, that should be visible. So for that, what we will do is, see, now this is visible. For that, what we will do is, we'll go to type and create a type with the structure which we just saw for the message. Let me show you again. So this is the structure, severity, summary and detail. So let me go to type, create a message type. You can give whatever name you want. Just try giving meaningful name, click on create. And here, let me add first is id i'm adding because this will act as my unique identifier then i am adding the other fields like severity then the summary and then the detail so now we have ad added the type now let us quickly add the variable uh, with this type. So for here, I'll just give message ADP. Make the type as error data provider. Click on create. Now, uh, here in the item type, let us give the message type. And in the key attributes, we can give ID. So now, 
we have defined our uh, variable and type let us bind our this message data to that variable which we created so here we are seeing nothing we are seeing nothing because we have uh, this there is nothing to this variable so we want data to be uh, assigned to this variable when the notification is triggered anywhere in the application so for that we'll go to event listener and we will search for the event listener for notification so you can see dispatch and response to fire notification event across triggered by the application this is what we require so click on next uh, click on the action chain and here let me give the name as assign message click on finish so I'll be taken to the uh, action chain so here what we have to do is to assign the variable basically assign the information coming from the event for that we'll create one uh, chain variable cur message for the current message and its type would be the message type click on create and now we'll map the data from our event so we have key for the id message can go with the detail summary can go with the summary and type can go with the severity now next step is to uh, add this current message to our variable so you have in the event target you need to specify the variable so we will specify our message adp variable and in add we will add the current message so expand the add add current message to data click on save and now let us execute and see what happens so now let us click on the event and see our event is triggered hope uh, this will help you to solve the issue now the second thing which I was telling was why I haven't used the uh, primary action uh, for that my uh, the button there okay so for that what I'll do is I'll uh, remove this one okay and now I'll create a new event new custom event and here now I'll choose the SP primary okay click on select and here we can just select this particular action chain same action chain okay now let me execute and see so now what will happen is we will see two notification so I feel there is some bug uh, with the primary action chain on the welcome page it basically creates or triggers the event two times so now let us click on event and see same action chain everything uh, I just I could have uh, just left this part but I wanted uh, you to know this so that you can use the event chain accordingly uh, hope this video would have been useful for you and I would request you to please like my channel and subscribe it and please share it with your friends thank you